Hello yogis! Happy Thursday afternoon here in Los Angeles. It's warm but breezy and uh, we have blue blue skies. So I teach yin yoga. I teach yoga I was gonna say but of course you know I teach yoga. I also teach yin. Yin is the relaxation, the deep stretching, the getting deeper into the bones, into your fascia, into your connective tissue. Whereas um, a vinyasa flow would be a superficial practice, they'd call it, because it's focusing on your muscles, on the outside of your body, rather than the inside, working from the insides. Yin is designed to massage your internal organs, to deeply relax your muscles, past your muscles and into your bones. It is a very healing practice. Um, I will share with you a very short sequence on this Thursday afternoon, winding down and into the weekend with tomorrow being Friday. Let's begin in child's pose. So you want to press one big toe over the other, open your hips out wide, and now stretch your arms out in front of you and lay your forehead onto your mat. Inhale deeply, exhale out. Inhale, exhale. Allow your thighs to hug in toward your ribs. You should feel contained and relaxed in this posture. Spread your fingers wide and crawl your fingertips a little further forward. Let your head roll to the right. And to the left, and back to center again. Allow your hips to sink a little deeper toward your heels. And on your next inhale, come on up to all fours. Shoulders stack over your elbows, over your wrists. Knees stack directly underneath your hips. And we'll have a nice shoulder stretch here. Inhale, lift your right arm high. Exhale, lay it down on the ground. Lay your head down on the ground as well. This should feel really nice, really relaxing. And lift your left arm up, wrap it around, and take hold of your right inner thigh if you'd like. Allow your belly to be soft. Try not to sink your hips to the left, but keep them nice and centered. Release your left hand. Replace it on your mat. Inhale, come on back up to all fours. Other side, inhale, lift your left arm high. Exhale, swoop it under you and place it down on your mat. Lift your right arm high, wrap it around you. Take hold of your right inner thigh, or your left inner thigh rather. Allow your belly to become soft. Mm -hmm. 
slowly unwind. Place your right hand on your mat. Your left hand comes up to meet it. And we'll take a few cat-cows here. Inhale, drop your belly down. Lift your chin, look up. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale. Turn to a neutral spine. Now lift your right arm out and lift your left leg out behind you. Flex your foot. Point your toes down toward your mat. Turn your left pinky toe down toward your mat. Now take your arm up above you. Reach around and take hold of your big toe or your ankle or your foot. And now inhale, kick. Lift your chest and exhale, kick your foot back into your hand. Nice stretch out here. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, kick your foot back into your hand. One more, inhale. Exhale, gently replace your knee and your hand onto your mat. Other side. Lift your right leg out behind you. Turn your right pinky toe down toward your mat. Lift your left arm straight out in front of you. Now inhale, reach around behind you. Lift your chest. And exhale, kick your foot back into your hand. <sighs> Breathing. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, kick your foot back into your hand. And gently replace your knee whoop, and your hand onto your mat. And now curl your toes under, lift your knees to hover off your mat. Feel your core engaged and strong here. And inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands up. Walk your feet about hips width distance apart. Spread your fingers wide. Breathe, pedal into your right toes and into your left toes. And back again into your right toes and into your left. Come back to a neutral spine. Walk your feet a little bit in toward your hands and walk your hands back toward your feet. Hang here in ragdoll. Take hold of your elbows. Let your head be heavy. Press your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Maybe it feels good to rock from side to side. <sighs> Breathing. Allowing all your anxieties and fears and worries empty out of your head and onto your mat. Continue to press your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Imagine there's a rolled up towel in between your hips and your belly. So there's a little space there. A slight bend in your knees. And release your hands. Walk your hands back out. Find downward facing dog. Drop your knees gently to your mat. Lower all the way down onto your belly for Sphinx Pose. So you can keep your legs about hips width distance apart. Your arms or your forearms are planted into your mat, fingers spread wide. Your elbows are about in line with your shoulders. Feet are nice and relaxed. Inhale, lift up your chest. Sphinx pose. Allow your belly to relax. Keep your neck nice and long so you're not crunching backwards and you're not allowing your head to dip down too far either. Nice and lifted, neutral and relaxed. Allow 
your butt cheeks to unclench, your glutes to become soft, your calves to relax, and your belly to drop. Resting here. Try not to let your shoulders hunch up around your ears like that, but rather keep your shoulders away from your ears, nice and long. Take an inhale, exhale, release all the way down to your mat. Press one hand over the other and let your forehead rest on top of your hands. Just resting here, breathing. And come on up. Press yourself up to all fours. Scoot your legs around to the other side. So we'll take a wide-legged straddle. So here, if you would like, you can take a blanket, if you have one handy, and just place it underneath your bottom so you have a little lift here. So you want to just have a little bit of a lift. If you have a block, you might want to have that handy just so that you can use it for your forehead to rest your forehead on. Now we're not so much worried about flexing or pointing the feet. Open your legs just as wide as is comfortable. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, tailbone tilts down toward your mat, chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. And exhale, Fold forward. Now you want to ease your way into this. No point in going too far, too fast. You just take it easy. If it's too much, come out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this again and sit on that. Because it's a little too intense for me. I'm feeling tight in my hips. So that's okay. I just come out of it, set myself up. And then I go back when I'm ready. <sighs> and rest. Let your forehead rest on your block or on the backs of your hands. Let your feet flop. Let yourself rest. Eventually, you may not need your fists, and you can just use your block, folding forward. Maybe your block can come away and you can just roll forward even further. Perhaps you can take away your blanket and you roll forward. That's 
that's it. Take a deep breath here. <sighs> Exhale, let it out. One more inhale here. Exhale, <sighs> let it out. Inhale, come on up. Walk your way back up. Draw your knees in, one, and then the other. You can lean back and windshield wiper your legs from one side into the other. If you'd like to round off your practice this evening by just lying down on your mat and taking a Shavasana, I invite you to do that. Otherwise, Namaste.